Extreme punishment of black girls in schools is more common than you may think. According to a 2017 study by the National Women's Law Center, black girls are more than five times more likely to be suspended than white girls and are six times more likely to be expelled. Me getting into big trouble. 13 year old Samaya Dillard and her family are not surprised by those numbers. Samaya's story was featured in a new documentary called Push Out the criminalization of black girls in schools. In your own words, what happened in the second grade? I was basically bullied or felt bullied by my teacher. She said in second grade, an argument with another student led to her teacher dragging Samaya outside. She then grabbed my chair that I was sitting in and dragged me across the room to the door mm -hmm. and sat me outside. Outside, outside. Yeah. Like outside in the cold. Yes. And this was the day before Christmas break. And then what happens? I just decided to leave. Their story made the local news in Sacramento. A second grade girl walked away from her Natoma school and no one knew where she was for more than two hours. You were near a freeway. In the documentary, you say everything could be easier if I just jumped. Yeah. You thought about ending your life at the age of seven. Yes. I was feeling confused and helpless. Samaya's parents settled a lawsuit against the school and the teacher. The school district issued a statement saying in part, we hope that her story and the stories of others will help other districts as it continues to help us. It's stories like Samaya's that pushed educator and author Monique W. Morris to raise awareness through the documentary. You really begin to pick up on the stories across the country. You start to recognize that this is actually a pattern of violence against black girls. What do you think is at the heart of the disparities that we see with young black girls? Black girlhood and womanhood is constructed by these ideas in our society of, of them being hypersexual, of them being loud and angry. Women who lead and... The film was screened last month at the New York Metropolitan Museum of Art and will air on PBS next year. We're never gonna make it. They say my life is not a success. They say I'm problematic because I'm bold. I want people to walk away from this documentary understanding, number one, that our girls are not disposable, and to really think about how we can shift our understanding of what constitutes a bad attitude or sassiness or combativeness. Mo Kennedy from the National Association of School Resource Officers acknowledges there is a problem. We're training officers to go into the school environment and to realize that implicit bias ex exists, even their own, and how to combat that. At the end of the day, a, a good SRO really should want to have positive impact on the lives of students. Righty. Psychologist Tiffany Munford Dent hopes so, to make that positive impact. School systems need to begin to identify prevention strategies um, and actually buy into them. Having worked in juvenile correctional facilities, she now organizes in-school therapy sessions for girls outside of Cleveland, Ohio. And we also need to show black and brown kids that we care about them being here, that the goal is not to push you out of the school system. We have to repair the relationship between schools and black communities. I fundamentally believe that schools need to be locations for healing so that they can be the locations for learning. What are you hoping people take away from this film? We are people too, and that we want to be heard. Black girls are loved and sacred. Moore said she has interviewed more than 150 girls, educators, and justice professionals, and visited more than 30 communities throughout her career doing this research. You know, it started off with her book, yeah. and she really talks a lot about uh, black feminine identity and just how it has been constructed in a way that, you know, you're not surprised that they're treated differently. Black girls are treated differently in Way differently, according yeah. to those numbers. We yes. see the videos, we cover them on the air here, and you think, I wonder if there's a trend here. There is a trend. Yeah. 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 So I think just exposing that in her PBS documentary, um, she's at hitting the very all least, schools, At the very least, having a conversation about it is it, really important. Everything starts with the conversation. Yeah. And everyone seems to be on board now, so mm -hmm. maybe a follow-up to see if things actually change. All right.